run the number to the nearest tenth. So we need to remember that each one of the decimal digits has a name. The first digit after the comma or after the, the decimal dot, it's 10. This is 10. So we, when we round the number, we don't need to pay attention to the 10th position. It doesn't matter. It's important to pay attention to the next digit after the 10th position. In this case, for example, that means paying attention to the eight, to the hundred position. So eight, it's enough big to round up. So nine must become the next digit. So it must become 10. So four comma nine becomes zero comma zero. I mean, five comma zero. So this is the rounding, the rounding to the nearest 10. So we're going to continue. In next one, we have zero in the 10th position. And the next digit is number two, number two round down. So it becomes zero comma zero. So that's the number, that's rounding the number. The next number, the 10th position is the number four. So we, we don't need to pay attention to the number four. We need to pay attention to the next digit, that is the hundred. So nine becomes, it's round up. So it becomes the next digit. So that means that four must become a number five. Now we continue. The, the, the next number, the 10th position is the number two. But we, we don't need to pay attention to the number two. We need to pay attention to the next digit. So it means to the number four. Number four is not enough to round up, it's round down. So that means that it is still being seven comma two. So that's the rounding of the number to the nearest tenth. I really hope this, this explanation will be enough clear. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye.